guys and welcome to today's video. Today is my Battle of the Boxes February edition. Um, it's officially, what day is it? It's the 1st of March when I'm filming this and we're doing February's Battle of the Boxes. For those of you that don't know, um, I had an operation not even two weeks ago yet, 12 days ago um, today. Um, I'm feeling much better, much better. I'm not in any pain anymore. I've still got bruises, if you can see that bruised down my wrists from my like like the the line they put in the needle this one's gone a little bit now but i had one in here as well wait where was it i don't know if you can see that red mark at all but that's where it was but you can't really see that one the bruise has gone away from that one but this big heifer one is still here um like literally look how big that is it's massive anyway um i had an operation probably when you're seeing this two weeks ago i returned to work in a few days which be good to get back into the routine it's been good it's been a good rest and actually well needed if i'm honest um but of course battle of the boxes i haven't done it for february because my box arrived literally the day after my operation i was like that's so typical because i wanted to, to arrive before so i could film it before but that didn't happen so here we are um sorry if i am a little bit mellow today i'm not like i am okay i'm not not bothered um but even though I look fine, hopefully I've got literally next to no makeup on because I seriously cannot be asked. Um, although I may look okay and I may sound okay, um, inside I'm still getting quite like nauseous and headachey and like a few nosebleeds. Um, I won't go into the grim stuff because I'm sure you don't want to know. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to take it easy. This is my first video back. I haven't filmed in th two weeks, sorry. Um, so yeah, here we are. Hello and let's get into battle of the boxes i think i've said everything i'm just I, if i'm a bit mellow and i'm taking gaps and this isn't a little bit jumpy this video it's because like sitting here talking for too long kind of makes me feel a bit car sick if you've ever felt travel sick it makes you feel a bit nauseous um and that's simply just the vibrations of me talking traveling through my brain and everything wobbling about a lot so bear with me <laughs> Jumping straight into Pip Box because it's the smallest one, it's the first one we do. Let's get into her. It just looks like this. We've got all of our product information leaflet on top, and then we've got loads of pink little wormies. What is this? Eh. This is the Manakada Renewing Lip Oil in Peony, I think it is. Um, and this is £18.50. It's 100% pure plant oils, and nourished and soothing to plump your lips. Um, apply before lipstick for a smooth application or wear alone for a soft hydrated lip or top any lip colour off for an added shine like I said it retails for £18.50 let me just show you the product inside I'm trying not to slouch so much but for some reason my shoulder is in quite a lot of pain so sitting upright hurts Ooh. so that's what it looks like I don't know if you can see that properly but it's just like a pinky sort of lip topper oil it won't look like this on the lips i've actually got quite pigmented lips these are my natural lip like these are my natural lips this is my natural lip color all i've got on at the moment is a lip balm um so this won't be this will be fine this color on me and i quite like that it's quite big it's quite a lot of lip product the next thing in here is in a pink box this is the Medusa's Makeup Witch Lash Mascara. Um, it's a thickening and waterproof mascara coming with a four bristle brush for the perfect makeup application. Retails for £7.70. I wasn't going to open this because I don't really like opening mascaras. It just looks like this, by the way. It's just like a nice, really, like a cute pink tube with gold writing on it. I like that it's called Witch Lash. That's quite funny. I'm um, like, Witch Lash. I wasn't going to open this until I saw the bristles on the picture. Like, can you see that? I don't want to ruin the rest of the box for you. But look at that. Look how tiny it is. I need to have a look at this. So this is what the mascara looks like. Are you looking at that tiny bristle brush? It's like a brow brush. Should I put a little bit on? Oh my god. What the hell? Hmm. Weird. Maybe it's good for like a lower lash mascara. Like a tiny dinky lower lash. That's probably what I use it for actually. A lower lash mascara. Because that is not a big voluminous wand. Interesting. We have a squeezy tube in here. What are you? This is the Mine Tan Gradual Tan Lotion. It's a daily moisturiser with a touch of tan. So it's basically like a, um, a gradual tanner in a moisturiser. So you could put it all over your face if you wanted to. Um, it does have a lot of oils in that are all natural. So coconut oil, argan oil, macadamia nut oil and grapeseed oil. Um, and it's just got a subtle colour to it. Should we have a look at this? 
Oh, it's a gradual tan colour extender, which is probably, yeah, I mean, I actually sometimes use gradual tanners in moisturisers for my face because I don't like to put tanning on my face because it clogs up my pores. Um, let's have a look at this. Oh, oh it's just white. Oh, interesting. I'll do it on my disgustingly bruised hand, I'm so sorry, but it's just a white cream that just, it's like a milk, like, you know, like the Bondi Sands Milk Tanner? I think I've mentioned it before on my channel, like, ages ago, but... Oh, it smells lovely. It smells like, you know, I think it's Barrett's. Barrett's Fruit Salad Sweets. Mmm, that smells good. The next thing in this box is something I recognise because I really like it. Uh, this is the Dr. Pawpaw Balm. It's basically, I mean, I don't even have to use the card for this. This is basically a balm that you can use all over your lips and dry bits. So you can use it on elbows, any part of your face. It's basically like a posh fancy, a fancy Vaseline is what I want to say. Um, how much is this retailed for? This retails for £6.95. I've got one of these already, but I will actually still use it because I do love it. Um, yeah, so here it says you can use it on the lip balm, sunburns, skin irritation, hair conditioning treatment, wherever you use it. It just like smooths and sort of softens. Um, sometimes I use it in my cuticles. If I've got like dry cuticles or something, I put a little bit on it. Um, I usually use this for my lips more than anything. And sometimes in the winter, if you get a cold and you get like dry flaky skin around your nose, I know that I do. Um, I sometimes just rub a little bit into it before I put concealer on or anything like that because it just creates that barrier. Um, and I've put it in my brows before as well. I really, really like it. I don't put it on my body or my hair just because I've got quite oily roots as it is. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. I recommend this to anyone if you're thinking about picking it up or you see it on offer. I'd probably say if you see it on offer, pick it up. It's not going to like change your life. It's not like a, a secret magic product, but it's just like a nice thing to have. And I think it would work for you and I recommend it. If you saw it on offer, I'd pick it up. Is that it? Oh no, we have one more thing. Oh, this is cute. Look at this. So this is the Biosense Sweet Orange Essence Oil. Um, and obviously it's just like um, an oil that you can massage into your body, like an essential oil. I love the little like... Um, tub for it the wooden lid and the cute little jar it's like brown glass i really really like it it's really cute looking um it does say add four drops to 10 ml of your carrier oil can be any carrier oil you have around like peanut or olive oil and massage the oil into your skin what the hell is a carrier oil sorry i'm leaning forward so much look at me i'm literally like down here and you can see my awful hair that i scraped back into a ponytail let's not talk about it um huh. sweet orange is uplifting and worry reducing i do like the smell of orange oil i actually already have one um stimulates cheerfulness and is known to reduce anxiety am i an idiot am i a doofus i've never heard of a carrier oil before before i can't even speak i'm literally oh <laughs> um okay cool i don't really want to put olive oil or peanut oil all over my body Interesting, let's give this a smell. Um, did I mention that this was £9? Which is quite expensive for such a tiny little thing. It's 8 mil. if I didn't mention that. Sorry, I'm forgetting everything. Ooh. Ooh, zesty. Kind of want to eat it. Kind of want to have this on top of chocolate. And have a Terry's chocolate orange. Maybe I just want Terry's chocolate orange. Maybe I don't want this at all. Maybe I just want chocolate. Mm, nice, I like that. I love the packaging. I'm not sure about this whole carrier oil business. I've never done that before. I'll have to look that up. It might be, I might be making more out of that than I need to. But wait, there we go. It's cute, cute little packaging. I like that box. Very nice. And then next up we have glossy box. Our OG. Cute. I thought this was Carl Lagerfeld at the moment, but it's not. It's Carleg Leifde. Leifde. Carleg. Carleg. I feel like I'm absolutely butchering this name. I'm so so sorry. It's very cute inside. It's, oh, I suppose it was Valentine's Day this February, wasn't it? This February. It is every February. I told you. I told you. Although I look fine, probably sound fine, I'm not I'm not all with it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it was Valentine's Day, February. So that's why this box is pink. I get it now. I get it. Inside we have a coupon code for Glossier U. Actually, very excited about this, and I'm gonna pick them up on this offer because I really want to try out this perfume. Everyone raves about it being like a really universal scent, so I might treat myself and purchase this, even though I probably shouldn't. When does it run out? Ooh, it runs out in May. I'll pick it up in May. First thing that I see is this fat old Fix and Rouge product. This is the Fix and Rouge Wonder Love Charm Glow Elixir, um, and it's essentially just like a 
uh, like um, a moisturiser to enhance the quality of your skin and give you a bit of a glow. Um, it's got vitamin A, hyaluronic acid um, and vitamin C and vitamin E in it as well as minerals and rose water and rose quartz. I don't know why you'd put rose quartz into a face product because rose quartz is a stone. <laughs> this is rose quartz. This is like a little candle light, it's cute, I love it. Let's not dwell on it too much, because I could talk about crystals all day long. But look, this is rose quartz, why would you put it in a product? You could have something coloured rose quartz, but in a face product? This retails for £35. A chihuahua, that's expensive. Comes in like a little dropper as well, by the way. Cute packaging. Again, back on the bruised hand, I'm so sorry that I'm doing this to you, but I always, I'm a right-handed person, I use my right hand and then I do everything on my left. Maybe I should use my wrist, sorry. Okay, so it just looks like this, like lovely in pink. And then, yeah, I suppose it offers a bit of a glow. Oh yeah, actually no, in person it offers more of a glow. I don't know if you can see that. My lighting's so bad, but I had all my lights packed away for obviously when I came home sick, so I have one light and it's probably very shadowy behind me. <sighs> Until I'm properly well and I can move around without getting a headache. It is what it is. But the next thing I have in here, oh, it's by Floss. Floss can be really hit and miss sometimes for some reason. And um, what is this? My new favourite lip gloss. Another lip gloss. I do love a lip gloss though, to be fair. I'm back in, back into the lip glosses. Thank you, Fenty Beauty. Get me back into the lip gloss. So this is the Floss Beauty, my new favourite lip gloss gloss in the shade ATH, I think. It's either in the shade my new favourite lip gloss or in the shade ATH, that's the only things on these packaging. Um, it's a really, really pretty sort of pinky colour, like a rosy pink colour. Um, it retails for £12.30 and is obviously a full size. I think everything in Glossy Box is full size all the time, so maybe I'm wasting my breath by saying it's full size, but it's full size. Oh! Okay, I was expecting it to be like one of those 90s squeezy tubes that you like just on your face, on your face, on your lips, but it's got a doe for applicator. Let me swatch this. Let me roll up my sleeve this time so you don't have to look at my nasty old bruise. Um, sort of like that, yeah. Oh, it's full of pigment. Okay, this is the sort of thing that you put a lip liner on just to define your lips and then you sort of just put this on over the top. Can you see that as camera focusing? There we go. Very nice. It's kind of... I, yeah, it is a gloss. It's a glossy gloss. Very, very nice. I like the colour of that. Kind... Oh. Ooh, that reminds me of a, a particular, oh, you want to laugh at me, it reminds me of, have you ever had um, the jelly, the jelly beans, like the all flavour jelly beans? It's the popcorn one. Interesting. Don't hate it, don't mind it. Not my favourite smell, won't lie to you, but it, it's like, it's not intolerable. It's just like a weird, a weird smell. It's the popcorn smell, it's the popcorn jelly bean. That's exactly what it is. Oh, I'm so weird. Now that my nose is working, I feel like I've opened up a whole new world to scents. Like I can describe things better. Don't hold me to that because that's probably a very bad thing to claim. But yeah, nice gloss. I like that it's got dough for applicator. Nice, it's a squeezy tube as well, I suppose. Maybe, I'm not sure. Um, cute, very cute. The next thing is this by Saint Lux Lip Liner Duo. Ooh, a duo, how fancy. So this is a full size. Um, I don't know what the colours are. Oh, Crush and Cupid, these colours. It is a duo and it does retail for £23 by Saint Lux. Um, the only thing that does annoy me, and I'm just going to say it really quick, is that it comes in a, a cardboard box. That's what it's called. It comes in a cardboard box, which I love because I can recycle this. And it's got a matte finish, which I also love because I can recycle it. But then they come saran wrapped. Why? What, what was that necessary? Then you don't give me a box. You're going to bloody saran wrap it. Okay, 55 years later, I have unwrapped the saran wrapped uh, pencils. So on the top here, we have Crush, and on the bottom, we have Cupid. They just look like this. There we go. Really pretty packaging. Really, really like that, actually. Really pretty. Got like this very soft, soft pink. And then the colours on the ends. I appreciate that the colours on the ends, then you can tell which is which. Um, let's give these a swatch, shall we? It's a sharpenable wooden liner. I actually prefer a wooden liner, a wooden lip liner, um, because I find that they sharpen better. Um, but as long as they're soft, I don't like a scratchy wood. It has to be like a soft 
MAC or Morphe type of wood, you know? So here are the swatches, so the top one here is this darker colour which is Crush and then this one here is Cupid which is that pinkier tone. They didn't quite come off how the cap shows, I don't know if I'm even close enough, here we go. I thought this was going to be like a darker red berry but actually it's come off more like a bright fuchsia pink and then I thought this was going to be a pinky peach but it's actually come off like a, a nudier pink than I thought. These are actually both beautiful colours and I really really like them um, and they were really really smooth as well so yeah I'm excited to have these on my lips, they're actually really really pretty um, and I think £23 for two lip pencils is... It's not, it's not as expensive as MAC, but that's quite expensive. However, if they sharpen well, they seem soft, they, you know, they're long wearing, I would definitely pay that for. I think £10 for a lip liner is probably like the maximum I prefer to spend on a lip liner. Um, but you know, you can get more fee for like half that price. So it's whatever you prefer to pay, but lovely packaging, lovely formula by the looks of it, as long as it is long wearing, I like. The next thing in here is this. This is the Star Skin Dream Kiss Lip Mask. It retails for, um, oh sorry, the Dulux Mini is £4.25, but the full size is £8.50. I think maybe the Dulux Mini you only get one, whereas the full size you get two. Perhaps that's the case. I think that's the case, because this is the Dulux Mini, it's £4.25. Um, I think £4.25 for a lip mask is quite expensive in my personal opinion um, but it doesn't surprise me either. I mean if it does a good job then £4.25 you're not going to be putting on a lip mask every single day, not even every single week. You'd probably put a lip mask on when you need it so £4 is probably like the limit I would go. Um, so yeah cool, I actually really like this, I love a good lip mask um, especially in winter as we're now, well we're kind of transitioning into spring now. I'd say like March is the start of spring so I suppose we're in spring now, like, hello spring, um, but nice, like that. And then we have one more thing in this box, oh no we have two, okay hang on. So this is the last thing on my leaflet, this is the Glossy Box Lip Brush, it retails for six, no, five pounds ten in fact, um, and it says we're treating you to our favourite lip brush, boasting a, a gorgeous, can't speak, a gorgeous glossy handle, it's essentially Glossy Box's own brand. Um, I don't know if they collab with anyone in particular for these brushes, but they sometimes have given us brushes that have got the Glossy Box flat branding on. I mean, to me, this is an eyeliner brush or an eyebrow brush. A lip brush, to me, has more of a pointed tip, whereas this one is like a diagonal... Okay, let me show you. This is like a diagonal brush and has like... Why would you not call that an eyeliner or brow brush? Personally, I would not call that a lip brush, but either way, I mean, maybe actually you could like draw and shade in. Brushes, I don't think should be let. I'm really dark all of a sudden. Mmm, the lighting's changed. One minute. I forgot what I was saying. Oh yes, brushes can be used for anything you want. Personally, that's what I think. Like, although something's labelled as one thing, there's no reason why you couldn't use it for another thing. Personally, I probably wouldn't use this as a lip brush, but I'm not saying that you couldn't. Just not what I would use it for. But nice, I like it. It's also one more thing in this box. I was just saying I wanted Glossy AU. I thought it was a weird thing to put in the package without a sample. This is a free sample because it's not on my leaflet. Everyone's been hyping this up. It better smell good, I've never smelled it before. Oh god damn. Oh I've got to own that. Did they spray this around department stores? Oh no, that's nice. That's really nice. It's a creamy, sparkling, clean and warm Glossier U Eau de Parfum adapts to your unique skin chemistry. An addictive musk, that's I can smell that, with earthy iris roots and spicy pink pepper. It's familiar but elevated. It is. I know that like maybe I'm getting sucked in and endorsed by it, but it is. It's like a I'm like smelling it off my neck. It's like it is a familiar smell, like a mmm, you smell safe. <laughs> Um, it smells a little different on everyone it's because you are the most important ingredient. We have Rocker Box. I've been like dying to open this Rocker Box because it was like bursting. I don't know if you can see. No, you can't. Oh, no, you can. Like the crease here. It was like bursting at the seams. We have some stuff from Sugar Bear Hair, it seems. Now I can be a proper influencer. 
So these are the Sugar Bear Hair Hair Vitamins. Um, it's full size. It retails for £23.06. And, and we've got a shower cap as well. To be honest with you, I'm more excited for the shower cap than I am for these. Um, so yeah, these are hair vitamins. I'm sure you've heard a lot about them. They've got a lot of vitamin D in. They're vegetarian. I actually take Tarty Beauty. C controversial. Um, I mentioned it in my vlog, I think. I think you've seen it actually, the vlog. I am on the path of taking Tati Beauty's um, hair skin nails. These are the Sugar Bear hair. Um, and I think, I've, well, I've had a look at the nutritional value of both of them. I've had a look at the list on both of them. And I prefer Tati's. These have got sugar and they've got carbohydrates in them and they've got calories. The vitamins are just very, very basic. Vitamin A, C, D, E, B, B12, you can get that anyway, folic acid. To be honest with you, you can go down to your local Sainsbury's, Tesco's, whatever, Waitrose, Morrison's, and buy this in a very unappetising form and pay five quid. Maybe not even that, to be honest with you. Maybe not even that. Um, and that's why I prefer Tarty's brand because there's actually more stuff in it that is beneficial. I'm going to do a whole video on that about how I'm getting on with hair skin nails from Halo Beauty. Um, but yeah, sugar hair. I'm talking too much. My god. What's this shower cap though? This shower cap looks cute. Let me. Oh. Oh, I've got the sugar hairs all over it. Okay, this is actually a really nice, a really nice shower cap. Like, look at that. It's got, like, little bears all over it. And donuts, are they? Lollipops? I'm not sure. Donuts and lollipops. And inside, it's got, like, that microfiber feeling. That's actually a really good quality um, shower cap. And it doesn't say sugar bear hair anywhere on it, so... Cute. I feel like I'm not ripping them too much. I mean, maybe I could, like, do a battle. I could take a month off of hair, skin, nails and do these. I'm not sure. I don't really want to talk about these too much. I'm not a fan of sugar bear hair because I think they're a little bit too represented for the ingredients that they have but there we go the next thing in here is this I actually already have this but I really do like it so I'm going to keep it but I'm not going to swatch it the Mono Skin Revitalizing Moisturizer um, it's full size and retails for £29.50 I'm just going to tell you how I feel about it I really really like it I find that I mean I put this on my face um, instead of primer some days or just before a lightweight primer if I'm not gonna put any moisturizing primer on I put this on it's really really nourishing I really really like it um it's thick creamy it's really really nice I like it the next thing we have is this this is the bonus treat it's the tea pigs cold brew lychee and rose tea I've actually had rose tea before and I really really like it um you just put it in uh cold water it's like a herbal well, I've put it in cold water before it's like a herbal infusion you can put it in hot tea, I'm sure, if you want to, but I've put mine in cold before. It's not focusing, it's focused on my ear. There we go. Looks like that. Tea pigs are good. I like tea pigs. The next thing we have in here is this. This is the Pop Mask Starry Eyes Warming Eye Mask. It's full size and retails for £4. Rockerbox have lovely descriptions, but it's more of a someone's account of the product rather than facts, so I have to read it to kind of get past the gumpf. Um, it's basically, I think, have I already had, no, it's by, you know, like Starry Masks, the blue packaging, where you have, like, the blue mask on and it heats up and it heats your eyes. It's basically this. I actually really like them. Um, they basically got, like, some sort of metal in them, like, metal, they don't touch your eyes. It's, like, an activated thing, like, when it touches the air, it, like, warms up, and I've had them before. Oh, they're so lovely. I've had headaches before when I'm going to bed and I put this on and it like, it's like having a hot water bottle over your eyes that doesn't get steamy. It's so, so nice. Um, essentially, it's just a warming heat mask. Um, I'm getting quite a big headache right now. So we're going to hurry this video up. Um, Four pounds. I think it's very affordable. Um, it is a one use thing. However, I actually have before just used it as a eye mask for because it pops over your ears instead of going all the way around the back of your head so I really like them I recommend having one I don't use them all the time I've got a backup for the one I've got now I've got two um I really, really like them they're very very soothing the next thing in here oh man guys my head's hurting we're gonna have to 
Ooh. Okay, this is the Dr. Lip Superfood Sweet Potato Pigment. Really, really like Dr. Lip. Um, I think it's called like their Lips and Nip Balm, like Nipple Balm I've got. Wait, where is it? This is the one I've been using. This is the one that I keep by my bedside. It's the Dr. Lip Original Nipple Balm. I find it hilarious that they call it the nipple balm. Look how tiny it is. Um, but this is essentially the same thing, but tinted. And it's much, much bigger. So maybe I had a sample size. I'm not sure. This is $6.99 and it's basically just like a, a moisturiser for your lips. Um, it's got edible pigments in, so they're all very sort of natural vibe. My battery just died. It's all working out for me. I've got a banging headache now. My lighting's gone funny and my battery's just died. And I've had to adjust this video about 30 times. Really, really like these. And I'm excited to have this in my box. And then, is this the next thing or the last thing? This is the last thing so the last thing in my box is this danielle creations lifting peptide sheet mask it's full size and retails for one pound 60. yes that is the sort of price i'm talking about this basically prevents signs of aging um it's got collagen infused into it um it's a hydrating mask that hugs your face apparently um with peptides in as well you need 15 minutes this is only 15 minutes a day so i mean this is it with sheet masks isn't it i mean it's single goose um with with face masks you'd have to use it a lot to see the true um benefits of it so yeah i mean the fact that it's one pound 60 i would happily buy a week's worth of these if it took like a week for it to work um it says leave them 15 20 minutes but obviously yeah it does say there only 15 minutes a day dot 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 because it's not going to change you, you know, sheet masks don't change your skin overnight. Some are very, very good at um, enhancing your skin and accelerating things, such as softer skin, it's better for quick hydration, etc. But unless you did the same sheet mask for an entire week, or maybe entire two weeks, you're not going to see the true benefits of that particular product in one use. Not all the time. Anyway, um, yeah, I really, really like that. I like... I like a good sheet mask and I like that it's £1.60 particularly. I feel like this is really difficult for me to choose first place um, because they were all really really good and I don't really want to give none of them a point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I can't bother to lift up all the boxes, I'm surrounded by mess. I'm going to put Rocker Box and Glossy Box in first place, joint first place, so they both get a point each. And I'm going to put Pip Box in second place with 0 0.5 points added to that. Um, half a point, whatever you want to say. Um, because I actually really, really did enjoy the Pip box. Just to remind you, that's what we got in it. We got the balm, the oil, the weird mascara, but we'll use it for lower lash line. Um, the tan, gradual tanner, and the lip oil. We got quite a few cute things, but I wasn't as excited about this as I was about the rock box and the glossy box. I need to sneeze. Mm, wow. You are seeing me in my finest hour right now. This is, this is great. I actually really, really liked both boxes. I think the glossy box is like, I was a hair, a hair more excited about this box than I was about this box, um, being the rocker box. However, if you're someone that doesn't know about Halo Beauty and isn't that bothered, the Sugar Bear hair stuff was really cool and I really like the shower cap. Like, it is very aesthetically pleasing like there's no doubt about it it's very good marketing is the word i want to use but you know the shower cap is really nice i really like that shower cap like i'd i'd, I'd buy that like i'd buy that um and inside was really nice the face mask was lovely love that the lip balm was nice the moisturizer is lovely the eye mask you know the heating one um really nice again basically all rounder bloody brilliant box inside the glossy box again a bloody brilliant box all full size products We've got the lovely lip mask. It's all like lip products. I don't know if you like saw that. I've just realised I've just caught onto it, everything being a lip product. But the two lip liners, a lip gloss, a lip brush, um, the perfume sample. So glad, so glad to have that. Um, the glow elixir and then the lip mask treatment thing. Both of these were brilliant boxes. Pip box was a brilliant box. Um, and I'd say it was a really, really nice box. But obviously when I'm comparing it to those two, they take the cake every single time at the moment. Um, that's just unfortunate. I'm freezing. I'm absolutely freezing. I need to end this video. This video has been an absolute car crash. Um, thank you for watching. I forgot to do. I forgot to do the totals. I forgot to do the totals. Where am I at?
So this is the leaderboard at the moment. In first place we have Glossy Box with two points. In second place we have Rocket Box with 1.5 points. And in last place we have Pip Box with 0 0.5 points. So, I mean, I feel like this is going to be the running trend. Like, Glossy Box for me, I feel like... <laughs> I feel stupid for saying it. My eyeball's hurting now. I told you, car crash of a journey. Um, I feel like Ro Glossy Box and Rocker Box really are very competitive with one another. Glossy Box does take the cake, I'd say, nine out of ten times. But, like, Rocker Box is very close. And I feel like, I feel sorry for Pip Box because it's a good box. And if you compared it to other boxes I've had in the past, um, such as Pink Parcel, they're very comparable in terms of contents, so it's a good box. It's just not it's not on the same it's not on the same wavelength as Glossy Box and Rocker Box. They're on like a different pedestal. And I have to be honest, I have to say to you which which I think are the best boxes, and I believe them to be the best boxes, which shows why they're winning in second month in. Thank you guys for watching so much. Um I'm gonna have to exit this without any excitement because I have a headache and it is causing me a lot of pain. I told you this would happen. I've been talking for an hour and now I'm in excruciating pain. I also forgot to mention the next couple of videos basically are still pre-recorded but I had to film this because it's time dependent. The next two videos that you'll see are not time dependent because I filmed them before my operation. So if I'm all sprightly in my next video it's because I filmed them before I felt like this. Anyway, subscribe, ring the bell, hit the like. Goodbye friends.